Let's do some math for fun here. I'm going to show you guys how to integrate square root of 1 plus x squared dx with hyperbolic substitution. You may like this, you may not, but I'm going to do this anyway. As you can see, I wrote down all the information that we need right here already, and let's take a look. We have 1 plus x squared inside of the square root, right? And the idea is very similar to the trick substitution. We want to somehow complete the square inside so that something square can be cancelled with the square root, right? And let's take a look at the first identity. We know that cos squared t minus sin squared t is equal to 1. So we can just add this on both sides. In another word, 1 plus sin squared t will be cos squared t, right? And here we have the 1 plus x squared. Why don't we let x equal to sin t? So that that will become the first identity, right? So let's make that happen. Let x equal sin t. And as usual, when you're doing the integral, you are going to differentiate both sides so you can get the dx. So dx will be the derivative of sin t is equal to cos t. So right here, it will be cos t. And of course, we're talking about differential, so we have to put down dt. And now we can put this integral into the t world. And of course, you can choose any other letter you like, right? Anyway, this is equal to integral is still the integral, square root is still the square root, 1 is still the 1, plus is still the plus. And for this x right here, we know it's sin t, right? Let me open the parentheses and put the sin t inside, and then I have the square on the outside like that, okay? And then for the dx, we know it's the cos t dt, so let's put it right here, okay? So this is what we have. And now what? Well, as we know, this right here is just 1 plus sin squared t. And that's exactly what we have right here, right? So the inside will be cos squared t like this. And then we have to still take the square root. Of course, the square, square root cancel. And now we have 1 of the cos t right here. And we have another one right here, right? This times another one. It's equal to the second power of that. So all in all, we are just integrating cos square t dt. And now the question is, how can we integrate this? It is very similar to integrating the original sine square t or cosine square t, OK? We have to use an identity that can reduce the power for us. The one that we're going to use is cos squared t is equal to 1 half parentheses 1 plus cos to the first power. And then the input here is 2t. It's very similar to the traditional trig function identity, right? So this is equal to, let's put the 1 half outside of the integration right here. And then we have the integral. And this right here has to stay, in, stay inside, right? We have 1 plus cos, and now the input is 2t. And we put on dt like this, OK? So we have the 1 right here. And now we can actually integrate. We still have the 1 half all the way in the front. So this is equal to 1 half, and put a parentheses. Now let's get ready to integrate. Integral of 1 in the t world is just t, right? So we put on t right here. Plus, let's just put on plus right here, integral of cosh. And we know the derivative of sinh is cosh. So the integral of cosh will be sinh. And they are both positive, OK? So the integral of cosh will be sinh. And the input stays the same, because this is just a constant multiple of t, right? However, when we do the integral, be sure we divide by the derivative of the input. The derivative of 2t is 2. So that means we have to multiply by 1 half like that. OK? And now, as you can see, we're done with the integration. Our goal is to get this back to the x world. And at the end, you will see the result that we have will be the same result as we were doing this by the traditional trick sub. OK? So to take up this, what we have to do is, you see, right here, the input is 2t for the things, right? Well, I'm going to use this identity to help us out. So, sinh 2t is 2 sinh t cos t. And let me put this down right here on top. 2 
sinh t cos t it's very similar to sine of 2t right the traditional sine function and you see that 2 and the 1 half will cancel out and now we will have let's still put the 1 half all the way in the front and then we have the t right here plus sinh t cos t okay sinh t cos t like that okay okay what is t we have to look back here since x is equal to sinh t we can just apply the inverse sinh on both sides so in another word we know that t will be inverse sinh x okay and there's nothing too much we can do about that so first we have the one half all the way in the front and t is sinh x like that right inverse sinh of x like that and now what is sinh t well sinh t we know that's just the regular x so we can put that down right here just x at the end what's cos t though well let's look back here cos squared t is equal to one plus sin squared t therefore we can say that if you take the square root here take the square root here this and that can cancel and that's not bother with the plus minus especially this is the indefinite integral so let me just keep this as the positive square root for now okay and you see that cos t is equal to square root of one plus sin squared t so I can say this is the square root 1 plus sinh t is x. And this right here is sinh squared, so it will be x squared. So this is the cos t in the x world. Okay? And now here is the punchline. Of course, at the end, distribute, distribute sinh, with inverse sinh x. It's equal to that, the ln of x plus square root of 1 plus x squared. And you can check out the video in the description or whatsoever to see how this is true, right? Anyway, so I will distribute the 1 half. And in first, sinh x is equal to that. ln parentheses x plus square root of 1 plus x squared. Close that. 1 half times that. So plus 1 half x square root of 1 plus x squared. And this is the same exact result as if we are doing that by the traditional trick substitution. And just for fun, let's put on the little C right here. And we are done. Okay, the C is kind of small, but it's still a plus C. That's it.